This is day one of my self-care summer. And if you're looking for a sign to do the same, this is it. This summer is going to be all about falling in love with taking care of yourself, falling in love with the path of deep healing, falling in love with becoming the best version of yourself, but with patience, with compassion and respect to your own journey. One of the best quotes that I heard recently is, if it makes you happy, it doesn't have to make sense to anybody else. Lady, run on down to the river, taking away to the dark side, I want to be your left hand man. Day one started with me asking myself the question, who am I living for? And more importantly, what am I living for? And then I realized I often don't put myself first. I remembered something I've always wanted to do but was always too worried that people would think I was weird. And that is dress up in a way that makes me feel pretty, go to a bookstore, and then read in the woods like the cottagecore princess that I've always wanted to be. So I gathered flowers and started working on a flower crown because obviously every princess needs one of those. Then I chose a dress that I've never worn out in public before, even though it's one of my favorites, put on some glitter, and it made my way to the bookstore. We ended up going to one of my favorite spots in the mountains. This time of year, it's covered in these beautiful white fairy flowers. I opened my books and of course I had to read the fairy tales. I forgave myself for waking up late today, not getting enough done, and just let myself get lost in the story. This is definitely just me being a bit extra, but you know, being extra is one of the love languages to myself, and I never thought about self-love languages, but if you've never looked into it, I recommend thinking about what you can do for yourself that makes you feel loved, makes you feel special, and reminds yourself that everything is going to be okay. This was such a good idea. I got up here and I just, I am in absolute heaven. And I definitely recommend dressing up. There is no better feeling than just being yourself and not caring what other people think. Who cares? Just like, it just feels so freeing to just do what you want and not have to worry about, oh, I wanna dress this way, but I might get stared at, or that's not how other people dress, so I'm gonna feel weird. I actually think it feels really liberating and it feels great, and I wanna do this a lot more often. As for the books, I got The Complete Grimm's Fairy Tales because this edition is so beautiful, and I have some of the Grimm's Fairy Tales, but not a complete collection. So now I own them all in one, beautiful edition and this one i actually i actually didn't read the back i picked it up not knowing anything about it just because the cover is really pretty for one and also i have heard really good things about it and also i know that it's like a gothic tale which i absolutely love i definitely recommend dressing up as a cottagecore princess and going out to your local bookstore and just spending a day reading outside it just doesn't feel better than this before we continue on with the rest of the video, here is Sponsor Desi with a little word from today's sponsor, Aura. So if you are like me and you struggle with anxiety or you just find it hard to switch off or you struggle with sleep, let me introduce you to Aura. Aura is an Apple award-winning all-in-one app for mental well-being and sleep. Aura provides a holistic and personalized library of well-being resources tailored exactly to your needs. With a community of over 5 million, with 5,000 personalized tracks, it's no wonder 97% of first-time users report improvement after just three days of using the app. Aura has been a life changer for me recently. If you follow me on Instagram, you know I've been having some struggles with my mental health. So I am 
so grateful and excited that they are sponsoring this video. Aura is really simple. How it works is you take an assessment and find out what your needs and interests are. And based on that assessment, you'll have access to personalized tracks suited to what you are struggling with personally. It's basically like Spotify for your mind and soul and heart. It comprises of meditations, relaxing stories, cognitive behavioral therapy, hypnosis, and life coaching tracks. And it's great because whether you have three minutes or an hour, you can find a track that's suited to your schedule. It's been personally helping me a lot with two things, reducing my anxiety and helping me to sleep better. They kind of go hand in hand. When my anxiety is lowered, then I get better sleep. Most recently, I've been loving this meditation called Decrease Anxiety and Increase Inner Peace by Andrea Watcher. I always feel more peaceful and grounded afterwards. If you would like to try Aura, the first 500 people who click the link in my description box will get a seven day free trial of the Aura app plus 25% off your first year subscription. Thank you again so much to Aura for sponsoring this video and helping me with my sleep and anxiety. Let's move on to the rest of the video. Day two, I found a quote on Pinterest by Robin Downs where she explains that self-care means doing the things that make you feel more like yourself. So I took that to heart and decided to spend an hour making one of the many TikTok recipes that I've saved but never actually prioritized making before. I saw this tiramisu recipe using matcha, but I thought how fun it would be to make chamomile tiramisu, one of my favorite teas. I made it the way you normally would and just substituted the coffee or matcha for chamomile tea. It smelled so good. While doing this, I focused on removing any toxic thoughts and reminded myself that if it's out of my hands, it deserves to be out of my brain too. I listened to a bit of an audiobook, one of my comfort books that I go back to all the time, Emma by Jane Austen, and thought about all of my favorite moments from this past week. It did take a bit of work to be intentional with my thoughts, but I noticed that as the minutes passed, it became easier and easier. I finished up the tiramisu by topping it off with some chamomile tea and some dried lavender. It ended up tasting very light, but I think I soaked the lady fingers for a tad too long as they were just a bit too soggy for my preference. I decided to pack up some of the tiramisu, put on my favorite light academia playlist, and go watch the sunset at a lookout near my home. Day three turned out to be a cloudy and overcast one. I was working through a lot of stuff that we'll be taking to a storage unit and tidying up my books, cleaning off my shelves and getting all of the boxes organized and ready to go. I finished up and just like magic, 
that's when I heard it. The rain. I live in a high desert, so we don't get rain very often here. I knew that I needed to set up a cozy space and spend part of the afternoon reading. And the old widow goes to the stone every day But I don't want to sit here and wait Grieving for the living Oh, goddamn My pain fits in the palm of your freezing hand Taking mine, but it's been promised to another Oh, I can't stop you putting roots in my dreamland House of stone, the ivy grows, now I'm covered in you. I wish to know the fatal flaw that makes you long to be magnificent. So, you know how you want to wear flowers, right? But if you just pick some and put them in your pocket, they'll die. Well, I have a hack. I figured it out. All you have to do is give them some water so that they can keep growing and living and being beautiful and then you just stick it in your pocket. I've always wanted to do a craft day in the park while the sun is shining and it's not too hot, so that is what I did on day four. I got some acrylic paint, this milk carton water bottle, and decided to paint on some butterflies. I've seen some people use stickers, but I wanted to paint, which maybe wasn't the best idea with these brushes and my lack of painting skills, but it was so fun and I was surprised how well it was turning out. I used a blade of grass to do some of the smaller dots and then it was done and I really, really love how it turned out. I really want to fill it with blueberry lavender milk. Day five was Friday and the start of the weekend. And after breakfast, Jared sent me this video and told me to watch it because it's something he thought that I would like. And um, yeah, he was right. Total Studio Ghibli bathroom vibes. I was in love and never knew a bathroom could look so beautiful. After doing a bit of research, I learned that the video was made by the brand Inoki Bathhouse. Everyone should go check them out. They're amazing. They have totally reimagined baths and I was completely inspired by them to recreate my bathroom as a sort of Howl's Moving Castle garden bathroom. We did have most of the things laying around the apartment, but I did ask Jared for his sunset lamp and then I picked up a couple new frames from the thrift store. I worked with the ingredients that I had and made this oatmeal, lavender, coconut milk tea bag that we'll use to seep in the bath later this evening. If you ever want to give color to baking or tea or like any drinks in general, these butterfly pea flowers create the most beautiful blue color. They don't have a lot of taste to them, so if you just want to like mix them in for color, I would definitely recommend trying that. 
So once the mixture was done, I just put it in the tea bag, set it aside, and got ready to make over my bathroom. This is what I'm working with. I already had these flowers up from last year. I've always loved the idea of a pretty bath. As you can see, this bathroom doesn't feel the most cozy and peaceful, so I went a bit crazy putting flowers and fake vines pretty much everywhere. not repaid his debt I've been searching for a trail to follow again take me back to the night when you Um, I've seen on TikTok some girls, they like braid the pearls into their hair. I want to try. I don't know how I'll do it. The ones in these hairstyles almost look glued on. Sometimes I do that. I use eyelash glue and I just put stuff on my hair. I might try to braid them in. Oh, but I don't know. I'm just going to try and we'll hope that it turns out well. <laughs> Not working right. Uh, we're just gonna do some braids and then we're going to glue on the pearls. Yes, so we're just gonna put a little dab. Let's do the first one right here. I don't know how long you should hold it. 20 seconds? Empty. It worked! <laughs> Finish the side. It's so pretty. I love it. I think it turned out so cute. And I know that this braid is all twisty and I could have redone it, but I couldn't be bothered because I think it actually just gives it more character. And if I would have been trying to do that on purpose, like I would have been so excited that I did it. So we're just we're just gonna leave it. <laughs> For my bangs, I think I'm just gonna kind of leave them chilling the way they are. Normally I would like curl them again. Um, they got a bit humid in the shower and so the curls kind of fell. I think it's perfect for the outdoorsy activity that we're going to be doing very soon. But let me introduce you to what we'll be doing. I'm so excited. wanted these like since I was a kid. My my parents did a great job and they got me good ones, but these are like the dream. <laughs> and I'm so excited. Ooh. Roller skates. Never thought that I would be able to have these, but now I do. And I'm so excited. Let's open these babies up. <laughs> I don't know why I said that. That's that's kind of weird. Let's open them. <laughs> 
they're beautiful. I don't even want to take them out of the box. So I think the first thing I need to do is move this carpet out of the way and put them on because I can't wait until I get outside. That is my, you know, I'm just being a child at heart because all kids do that, right? They put on their roller skates in the house and I am not going to be any different. So today I am going to teach myself how to use these. There will probably be a lot of falling involved. I did do figure skating when I was younger and I had roller blades all growing up. Pro at those, but these are a whole different beast. I've worn these a few times at the skating rink and I am not good with these. But I have watched a lot of YouTube videos and TikTok videos teaching about how to get started. And speaking of getting started, Started, I am going to personalize these a little bit. I ordered this really cute accessory on Etsy and it came recently, so I'm gonna go grab it and put it on. So let's put on the accessory and get learning. <laughs> I didn't get any pads for my elbows and my knees. Whoops. <laughs> time I've semi mastered the carpet so let's head outside and <laughs> hope that I don't fall since I don't have the pads that I should have thought about buying but didn't let's go as you uh, might have guessed I was quite naive <laughs> to think that I wouldn't be falling I was falling all over the place I could hardly stand up straight but eventually I got a hang of moving but then I ended up going too fast and I didn't know how to stop I think I've mastered the ability to stand up, so now I'm going to use this parking lot and the white lines to practice going straight. Because then once I do that, then I'm gonna try some other, like, maybe like spinning around. If I can, we'll see. My butt is already covered in black stuff. I used these lines to help me practice going straight, which was actually quite helpful. And then after that, I was able to go on my own and I was pretty proud of myself being able to weave back and forth like this. Nice. Just keep going. Hey, this is fun. <laughs> Woo! How do you do that? I don't know. Oh, oh wait, wait, I'm really dizzy. We are gonna go grab some pizza and then do a little final reveal <laughs> to see how much I've improved in one day. <laughs>
if my true